their constitution, but that when we still got um, um, Lance, oh, we got BIA yet too, and then enrollment personnel. Well, after Lance, we'll have the ladies give their quick update, and then we'll call in. Uh, did Jim come down out there? Yeah, I haven't seen Jim down here, no. Time is it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Lance. All right, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, just a few updates in the report. Uh, we're starting to spend that CRSRSA funds. And that was that second round of funding at 1.4 million. Uh, we're still determining a little bit on the HVAC needs. I've been working with Larry on that. <coughs> uh, computer replacement. We, we have an idea now what we want. There's a huge uh, chip shortage across the globe. And so laptop purchases are six to eight months out. So we're looking more at iPads for some of our K through eight. The uh, replacement outdoor education areas, we have uh, the basketball court project has started. They've torn out the, the asphalt. I think they'll probably be pouring concrete here in the next couple days up there behind the greenhouse. Uh, I had a group come and look at the elementary playground, which needs to be uh, an update to it. So we're starting to get numbers in on that. What that's been right causing. beside the boys and girls club? Yeah, so when they, when they put that in the middle, they kind of disrupted our playground. So we're those older swings to the towards the fire hall. Yeah, they're going to replace those brackets on. They're not going to tear the swings, the, the standards up. They're going to put new swings on there. Uh, probably tear those old tires out of there and put that seahorse down there. Uh, we have a teeter totter that's new that'll be down there. And then next to the current jungle gym thing, I guess I'll call it that. They're going to re they're going to reposition that a little bit. The current one. And then they're going to we're trying to get a price on a brand new one that will be fairly large that will go between or towards the friendships house in the corner there all the way to the back to the fence and then move that fence back about 30 yards that's where the old uh, remember that's where the old uh, playground used to be just right behind that Episcopal church that is a friendship now Yep. And that yellow chin building, that's where the original okay. were years ago. I thought it was more towards the slab. No, there, there were, um, you know where that yellow chin building is and then you have your friendship? It was in between there. Well, there was one there before my time then. Yeah. I remember the one by the slab, remember? Yeah, the one by the slab, I remember. That, that was when they did those houses and then they put that playground in over there. Uh -huh. And then uh, they got destroyed and they tore it out, you know? But yeah, that's for the original, because in the glory days of the 70s, that's for that was. <laughs> Us guys weren't born until 75, so <laughs> <laughs> we're youngins yet. So, so we're, we're getting prices on that, and I'll bring those back to you. Hopefully by July, I'll have something that we can look, at to, look to make take action on, possibly. Uh, the new bus is the, the small white bus was delivered yesterday or a couple days ago. And uh, the new charter bus, I think, will be next week. So that's in motion. Uh, one project that I'm I'm waiting to hear back, and you'll see farther down, I'm waiting to hear back from Shakopee. Uh, I'm not sure on the lighting project, but on that current budget, I think it could be modified if we wanted to. We could put new lights up on that football field. And, and we can put a light on and I'd really like to have a light over by that greenhouse on the end of that greenhouse and by that new basketball course so it shines out there for security reasons I think that would make it a lot safer up there because as we build that up I'm afraid we're gonna have kids up there cars up there and we're gonna and I think it would be really good to have a light up there so if we're going to do the lights there it might make sense to combine it uh, West Central will give will donate wood poles. Awesome. And that would just be for the lights. So the project for those five lights, so there'd be two on each side of the football field, which they say suffice, and the one over there would be about $70,000 wow. approximate cost. 
And I think we could probably put fit that into the budget, that $1.4 million. If, and I just wanted to kind of put that out there, is, if that's something you think we want to do. And if Shakopee comes through with the money later, then we have it done already. But I don't know. Well, you know, we always did plan on replacing those, those lights for the um, football field because they were blown down on the high wind, right? Yep. I know that was always a big part of uh, I, just our, our to me it just provides us more recreational opportunities for our community by yeah. having those there. And then with this new season coming up with this I really like that uh, football schedule and the, the, um, the whole startup of the Dakota Nations. I think that'd be great to have some night games down there. Well, I can proceed if, the, if you think that's something we can do prior to the shock of you making a decision. It's a little bit about timing at this point because I, if we're not going to do it right away, then it's probably going to miss the season. We used to have night games all the time down here. <clears throat> I can bring something back to you once I at the next meeting to see if that's something you want to approve or not. I guess so that's uh, fun, farm to school grant. Uh, we're waiting on the next round of funding. I think it's actually come just came out yesterday. Now that after my report came out, and so we'll be writing for uh, uh, kitchen upgrades, and to and we actually have this written into our grant. We're setting up our aquaponics in the shop right now, so we'll have a pretty good. Uh, once we get it rolling, I think we'll be able to produce enough lettuce to provide enough lettuce for both uh, lunch rooms and for possibly the casino on a regular basis. That would not, uh, it would just be, it would continue to go on and on. So that's kind of exciting. I think that would be cool to have that done. Uh, CDC grant, we got that additional, we're waiting on the, the lights or finish it up but they were waiting on parts so uh, those UV lights will be I think finished next week and they put new lights on the outside of the building at the high school and they're putting new parking lot lights in yeah. next nice. week and then uh, we got another fifty thousand dollars that's supposed to be coming or waiting for those funds to drop and that will give us a uh, new water fountains up throughout both buildings and then uh, a new sound system in the gym and then a new video display and then the one that I would like to get permission to write for is this is a repeat of a grant that we did not get a year ago cops grant five hundred thousand dollars and that would be for uh, a new locks throughout the buildings and some uh, some uh, surveillance equipment to enhance what we currently have you need that my resolution then? Yeah, I would like to get a resolution on that so that... that this pop grant, is, is that the one that's supposed to be able to get an officer done? There? That's a different part of the cop. This you is a cop's grant too. You can write for grants for personnel or you can write for equipment. Yeah, I mean, I, know, I, did, I thought we had a personnel one. That we, we do have we, a personnel one already. Yeah. But the one we wrote for equipment last time got did not get approved. So for this, is a, this is another one of those grants. So. But the officer kicking woman has been down there, and she's been a great asset to the to the school. That she's Is that through a cops grant? Through the cops grant, yeah. No, she's BIA. Oh, she's BIA, right? Well, but sure, I think some of her funding's paid through grants. Yeah, I saw her all. Yeah, she's through BIA. I don't know how they funnel well, that money not. together. Yeah, she's through BIA. Yeah, because okay. she. Yeah. I, well, we're just grateful to have her, <laughs> and and her, and she's getting paid uh, through the. You know, you got to be able to probably be able to get another officer. It's taking a while to get, yeah. Yeah. But I would like to see if, if uh, the council would agree that we get a resolution to support that grant. Did you deal with that now, Mr. Chairman? Sure, we can do it. So move. Second. Motion by John, second by Stephanie to. Approve a resolution be done for the cops grant for the schools. Any discussion, Dr. No. John? No. Nope. No. Nope. Harvard? No. Nope. Nope. Call for the vote, Donovan? Four. John? Four. Stephanie? Four. More? Four. 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 Five, four, zero against, and I'm not voting. A little bit about the BIE safety uh, f capacity facility assessments. We've been through two of those now. The facility assessment, they 
they moved uh, the dates. It was supposed to be the 20th and 21st of June. They moved to the 16th and 17th. Unfortunately, I planned my vacation around that, and uh, I will not be here. Mr. Jander will be here. I've talked to Larry a couple times. It's, he's assured me he will be here. Uh, they're pretty stuck on coming when they want to come, which is unfortunate. Well, of them I was disappointed with it. But. Deferred maintenance is supposed to begin. They're supposed to redo all the concrete around the middle school, high school building. And I believe that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. And that's a contractor out of pier that's going to be doing the work, Sharps. So I've been trying to get a date for their start, but I haven't been able to secure that yet. But it will happen soon. I have to reach out to this uh, gentleman about that removal of the portables. Uh, according to uh, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, Ms. Dirtle, she said that... Uh, the, the one that we, that we talked about relocating, I think, Chairman, you had asked about whether it would, would transport there. It sounds like between Mr. Uh, Nealon and Mr. Little, they thought it would be fine. Mm -hmm. That they could move it for about $4,000 and then tie some money into renovating it next to the other one for the teen center. So I guess as we pro progress and once the BIE, BIA, I should say, <laughs> Gives its blessing. Assesses that to a, the, the tribe. We'll have to work through how to get it moved. I guess I'll just keep you posted on it. Uh, Shock P grant update. Like as I said earlier, still waiting to hear. Uh, I did contact a lady this week, and she said she's waiting on Mr. Renfrance from uh, who's working with the tribal council there on the on the funds, the ARPA funds, which is a three point five million dollars. Uh, I haven't done a lot with that because I'm still trying to get the 1.4 uh, spent, and that will be or some of that spent this summer. So as we're, we have some summer projects like the elementary playground, where you say funds have no funds set, that means uh, a time limit of spending it. Yes, right on. So we can we can keep. So those we don't have to. So I'm not right away, right away. I we haven't developed a budget on that yet because I'm. It's kind of an unknown. Right so, uh, the revamping the shop right now what we're, we're looking to do is fix up that garage a little bit that garage door on the old garage that's kind of between the college and the shop needs a little bit of fixing done on it so we can re relocate some tools in the original shop and then we're going to create the shop into a screen printing business which we've talked about we got that through a grant and we'll also then have the aquaponics in there, which we're setting up right now. And uh, so anyway, a lot of equipment's being moved in and around there. Our eSports class program, this is a, I've attached uh, the information for that. And so we went out for bids on that. We got three bids. The, the second, well, you'll see the bids listed. The one is $20 more but you can get the products immediately. And I guess I would recommend due to product availability that we go with that uh, that first one there that's $20 more than the one at the bottom because we would like to start that program this fall. Do you need a resolution on that because of the amount? Yes, I do need a resolution on that. That's the council that can do that. Your recommendation is the one that you just Right. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Got a motion by John, second by Donovan. Any discussion, Donovan? No. John? No. Stephanie? No. Marvin? No. Nope. Donovan? Call for the vote, Donovan? Four. 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 Five, four. Zero against, none not voting. Get that, Urs? Thank you. And then that, that was a grant that we received that we wrote that into. Out for the product. Uh, summer school starts on Monday of next week. Um, we have, I would say, probably two thirds of the elementary uh, signed up for that, and we'll keep can, uh, can continue to support getting more in. And then the uh, and we're fully staffed for that. And at the high school, middle school, we have uh, 
quite a few signed up. I'd say probably about 40%. A lot of those kids have jobs and things that they're trying to juggle to. I know that, that uh, the gardening program has quite a few kids involved in it this year, so a lot of them are there. Uh, we also have some, we started the weight training and open gyms. Next week is a volleyball camp that would be offered for middle school girls. And we actually have DWU coming in on the final day for our, our high school girls for camp there. So we have a lot of activities going on right now. Uh, tonight, uh, Stanley, the girls go to Stanley County for a league. So things are in full motion down there. Uh, staffing, after our last meeting, unfortunately, our elementary school principal uh, is moving on, Ms. Elvers. So I'm looking for a new elementary school principal. Oh, she is, huh? Did she go somewhere else, sir? Yeah, she had to relocate out west. Uh, Due to family issues, her, her father, that? her father's out by Martin, Miss Albers. Oh, okay. remember the lady that come to a lot of the yeah. Also, man, she seemed pretty nice. No, she was she was very good. Uh, so that'll be big shoes to fill. And then uh, high school social studies, we're still looking for a, a person in that role. So those are the two. Doing pretty good, huh? Yeah, we, we've done all right. I think we'll fill those up. I, I have an interview as soon as I leave here. I have an interview with the elementary school principal. So hopefully we come back with good news next month with that. But any questions the council has? We did start our summer foods program this past uh, Monday. Thank you. For Tuesday, that. I should say. We had a really uh, a highlight this week as we are, and I think of this. Candida asked us, it deserves some credit along with our SPED program. They've done a really good job of uh, helping to get our transition back on the ground. So we had one of our SPED students that was able to transition to Code Milestones. And it's, you know, I think the credit goes back to you and your family. She did give me an update. And so we, your wife and daughter helped uh, move that young girl lady into her new apartment. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, we, were, we were pleased to do it, and I think she's going to have some That's success. That's the one that... Football championship. Where did we go? Tio Spazina. Tio Spazina. The Humdi. 38 to 6, I think it was. How much? 38 to 6. Yeah. So. I tell you what, there was, I had to go to a funeral down in Winnebago last week, and their crew was in the championship, and a lot of them were talking, you know, they were looking forward to going to Mitchell. You know, and there was actually three, um, Three football players there that were our relatives, they were right there, and you know, and they had to leave because they practice. But that, that was something they were really looking forward to. And stuff, so. Yeah, just, uh, you know, we rented that facility and we had to, you know, sell enough tickets to kind of break even, and we're, we we're right over the top of, of making enough. And it wasn't a very nice weather that night. It rained. Really game, it was great. <laughs> yeah, if you're playing, it was awesome. But. but you did a great job, Lance, and thank you for all the, the good job you've done for this, for our school system. Doing a good job, especially during the pandemic. It's good to be through that to an extent. I know we got a little work ahead of us, yeah, but I appreciate your guys' support. <clears throat> Continue to work, and uh, next month I hope to bring back uh, our strategic plan that we'll start implementing. I did have a phone conversation with Cogni, our accreditation organization that we're looking to start this year that was delayed because of COVID, so COSA and Cognia. So we'll be doing that accreditation review this year with the school, which will be the first time for both of those organizations. So. All right. Oh, oh, just check with uh, our Shanna Cafel Yin real quick, our, our uh, I'm sorry. Long day, Chris, Christine on the mask mandate. Okay, yeah, I will. So, I'll visit with some alterations to it and stuff. So okay, thank you. Thank you, Lance. Thank you. Well, good good work down there. Like I said, on behalf of us, tell your uh, wife and daughter we, we appreciate what they, what you guys did for that young lady. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Uh, Mrs. I'm Deborah. sorry. No, Deborah. Uh, Deborah and uh, Deborah. this is Redbird Consulting, real quick, ladies and gentlemen. The nice ladies that brought you the, the drinks and Marvin's cookies. Thank you. Thank you very much. You saved him. Buttering us up for something. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of their, my bandmate, sorry, Paul, this is their. Uh, this is. Paul. This is a sign in, I guess. 
Paul Bad Moxon. These are his nieces. Oh, okay. I'm going to print my name so you can understand it, okay? <laughs> okay. Great. Oh. But I might steal a cookie. Yes, please. Or James. Sean, eat them up. Nice and soft. There's some drinks and stuff over here, everybody, too. Yeah. Oh, He's scared, boys. Yeah, don't be scared. <laughs> Take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> um, just to start, we'd like to thank thank you so much for um, seeing us today, and we're very excited to be here. Um, me and my sister, we started a company, uh, Redbird Consulting, and um, we're trying to get get work with the tribes, um, and. Um, we're a, a Native American woman and veteran-owned consulting engineering firm specializing in project management. We're family-owned, and we're, our goal is to provide a responsible professional service to Native American communities. We're both enrolled members of the Crow Creek Sioux Tribe. We grew, we grew up in Pierce, South Dakota, and my mother is Finette Bad Moccasin. And is my uncle, Paul Bad Moccasin, and um, we just um, want to get back home. We're currently, um, I live in Arizona, and my sister lives in North Carolina. Um, so I'd like to talk about my sister, um, Stephanie. Um, she has 18 years of military. She's a Marine. She's had a career in the Marine. Thank you um, for your service. Thank you. Uh, she's a skilled project manager capable of completing simple and complex projects under challenging conditions. She worked extensively in coordinating with many diverse agencies to promote collaboration. She graduated from the University of Iowa with her Bachelor of Arts, majoring in history, minoring in anthropology in 1993. She has many military, much military education and certifications. Um, all this information is in the packet. We have our full, um, full um, resumes, resumes, and, resumes and, um, and by by. Biographies and that sort of thing. Yeah. So, um, my experience in the Marine Corps, I did four tours in Iraq, two in Afghanistan, and all those times I was a project manager. Um, I worked with locals and with uh, other agencies. Um, like in Iraq, I worked with the electrical engineers to help get electricity back to their, their towns and their villages. And like in Afghanistan, I did a number of agricultural projects. Uh, particularly a, a large co uh, agricultural canal project. I worked with uh, contractors. And uh, so I've done all sorts of different kinds of projects, everything from educational to, to construction to road building, all those sorts of things, but in, either in Iraq or Afghanistan. So um, I have not, uh, like my sister said, that we're, we're trying to start this this company. So I'm looking forward to helping the tribes get some of their projects off the ground and manage properly. Thank you for your service. Yes. Uh, next, I'll talk about my sister, Deb Griffith. She has 33 years of engineering, uh, project engineer uh, experience and 26 years of civil engineer experience with Indian Health Service. He spent five years as a field engineer out of the peer field office in Indian Health Service or uh, for IHS, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, she's done some sanitation facility projects already at Crow Creek in her number of years ago. And her entire professional career has been working with tribal communities. And like she said, she's currently working down in Phoenix with the Salt River, Salt Salt River, River Pima. Pima. Her education, she has a uh, BS from uh, so, uh, South Coast School of Mines and Technology, uh, with a civil engineering degree, and then also a master's degree in construction engineering and management. And she's a registered engineer, a professional engineer, uh, specializing in civil engineer out of Arizona. She wants to talk about some of her projects she's done okay. recently. Yeah, so um, after coming out of uh, South Dakota School of Mines, I worked for five years for IHS here at Lower Brule and, and Fort Thompson. So um, at that time, we were working on um, a lot of the housing HUD homes, <coughs> sewer, um, 
we did some. How long ago was that? That was in 89. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to that ask. That was in 89. Like that, so yeah, early 90s. <laughs> so um, there wasn't a water storage tank here. Um, there was booster pumps. Well, there still would be the pump up there, but um, the lagoon was here. We did work on that and some work on the river intake. So I'm a little familiar with the community. I'm sure it's grown a lot and has a lot. Of, I know there's a new water. I mean, the Choney went in and all that. So, but I'm very proud of uh, one of my projects at Salt River. We we built a um, 50 million uh, dollar project water facility, wells, uh, underground concrete, 2.5 million gallon storage tank. Um, it, it was really nice, and that's what I've been doing this past five years is working at Salt River, and they've got a, a couple of systems like that. So, but yeah, I'm ex excited. I've worked on. Uh, Million dollar projects. I worked on, you know, what, uh, individual home water and sewers projects. So, I'm really excited about that. You know, we are in the process of, right now of a, a new wastewater treatment plant. We've been in talks with IHS, and hasn't always been a fun conversation. I, I, I don't, I don't ever remember meeting Mr. Bollinger face to face, but. We didn't get into a shouting match or something. He, he was just really being, for better terms, arrogant. Uh, and I thought that was unacceptable. I let everybody speak. I got on the call. Uh, he was being very disrespectful to to another female, Mrs. Uh, Schmidt out of Banner and Associates. I had him all the time. I got on there and I, I kind of lit him up. I just told him I didn't care for his attitude, the way he's talking. Mm -hmm. I went to a female about, about our tribe. He, he said something to the effect that, uh, oh, the tribe just realized that they didn't have any more funding and they needed funding, and that's why they're coming back to us. And, and that's really sad that he represents that department. Yes, at whatever level of capacity, I, I didn't think that was very professional at all. And he did not say one word after I addressed his um, attitude towards Mrs. Schmidt and how he talked about our tribe. Never heard from the guy since. And there was a, quite a few of us on the call, like I said, and I don't know how much he controls or runs IHS, wherever he's at, if he's in Aberdeen and Pierre. And so that kind of concerns me. Yeah. Knowing there's people up there in attitudes like that, and this is 2021. And uh, and I try to remind the fact we didn't build those lagoons, you guys did. Not you guys, but you know what I mean, the IHS. And the fact of the matter, how long would they think they were supposed to be there? For life? Or... or and then if there was never no stabilization project before now, how did they not think that it, the erosion was going to impact that? So I was just trying to fill that out, but he didn't even give me that chance because he went off on his rant and got negative towards our tribe. So I was really, you know, I'm sorry, I've been really busy since the last time we visited. And uh, I don't remember if I mentioned that to you when we did visit or if it was before or after that call, but that that's one of your specialties in that the rights that tribes have in matters like this. And uh, another guy was just there that just left uh, LaForest Mitchell. He was really nice. He came down with uh, uh, Mitch Teague. We had that, uh, it was a whiteboard, but we had the concept design for the shoreline project. And he even agreed that IHS should help the tribe because it was their lagoon system that they built. And I don't know, maybe it's turned back over to the tribe now, but he said, yeah, you're right, we did design them. And the fact that we should be trying to work with the tribe whatever way we can to help with the switchover, whether we decide to do a new sal or we go to the wastewater treatment plant. But then, boom, he's gone, moved somewhere else, I don't know what the hell. So I, I just, like I said, so I think that's always a plus when we have our fellow indigenous brothers and sisters in these uh, fields of specialty that can address these issues that impact our native communities uh, and, and know their rights and uh, responsibilities of the, these government entities that are sanctioned to serve the people. So I, I, I just want to give you a prop for that, you know, that, you know, and, and also you and your, your field, I mean, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I don't like seeing any indigenous community or fellow tribal members being taken advantage of by the government like that. I don't want to treat them like that. Right. Say that, oh, you're just coming for us for money. Hey, we, we didn't put us here. You guys put us here. Exactly. You know, and then they, they always say, well, you're playing that trump card of uh, uh, the government owes you this. Well, you do. 
Yeah. We, we didn't make the rules. You did. <laughs> right. Right. <coughs> and yeah. when it was either take this or die or get killed. And so I, I love to see people succeed. And, and, and your resumes here are pretty uh, impressive. impressive, to say the least, and, and wanting to help these tribes and, and succeed. And for those of you that don't know, if you don't, if you mind, don't mind. You guys remember um, Dan Griffith from the VIA back in the days? Yes. This is his daughter. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys know that. He was a very nice yeah. man. I remember him visiting my grandma very much. And your dad, too. Yeah, we're, um, yeah, we're sisters. Very, uh, he was always respectable to my grandma. I, I remember him very much. Like I said, when I was just a kid, but he seemed really tall. <laughs> and how he always fit in that little government car, I could never figure out. But... Uh, so it's crazy how life has that full circle, things coming back full circle, you know, and uh, so I think it's pretty unique. Well, we used to live here. Yeah, yeah we lived here kids. when we were little in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, do you remember that? Oh, we did. We were there. We were there. We were there. We were there. Probably seeing these guys running around. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's exactly why, unfortunately, I worked in that that type of um, environment, IHS government environment, and um, I saw things like that happen a lot. And that's exactly why we want to, um, you know, work with tri tribal communities, is to um, help. Because a lot of times the tribes are so, you know, they have so much other stuff going on that, you know, things like these projects get kind of pushed to the wayside. and. Um, and they just, they get done, but they're not really overseeing, you know, the things like be, being built to spec or, you know, keeping track of the funding and, you know, that type of thing. It's just, um, you know, a consultant is doing everything. And so what we would like to do is be involved and over, over, oversee that for the community. So, um, and definitely um, work with the, the governmental agencies. And so, and have a, a working relationship with them. So things like that wouldn't ever happen. Yes. Because they're there to work for you. They're there <laughs> Not to serve the us. They're supposed yeah. to. Yes, supposed that, to. they are. And so you, I'm sure you're in agreement then that the words Mr. Bollinger said were way out of context. Exactly. Yes. And I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> Honestly, I, like I said, I, I, he didn't say one word after I addressed how he treated. And I didn't care for that. Never heard from him. Never, he didn't even say bye on the call or anything. Yeah, yeah. And it's like I said, he's, he's making that whole department look bad. Exactly. Yes. So, um, you know, after your, your your thing here with us, I would love to have you. Uh, if Shanna could get a hold of Mary Jane, our Doc Monalu, uh, and introduce these ladies to them so they can uh, see their portfolio. Um, especially if uh, Mrs. Uh, Deborah's background in the IHS stuff, because of the fight we're going through right now with the lagoon system and the uh, new wastewater treatment plant that's being proposed, uh, then they see if there's something, if uh, we have the funding to hire on as a consultant to look into that. There's nobody better we got than somebody that's worked in an office up there and that can be an asset to the tribe of their responsibilities to them. Because I always said the same thing. And there's some, there's actually something on the table. I, I Tim's got my original. i got to bring to you guys uh, some verbiage. And I asked Randy to take a look at it. He never got back to me yet. Uh, it's a pressing one. It's supposed to be signed, but I told him I'd sign it when I proofread it all and, and I had our lawyer review it. It's, a, it's, a, it's on a lagoon project. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, there's just some verbiage in there that I don't like, you know. Yeah. I definitely. think they were hoping I was dumb enough not to read the whole thing and sign it. So that's why I say I love when I'm being underestimated. That's it's all it's power to our people. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, it's all um, like boilerplate stuff, you know. That they, probably since the beginning of IHS, they use those documents. And, and it's definitely the tribe's right to make changes and, you know, review and, However, you want to have your project, you know, uh, that it's essentially a contract. Yep. So that's 
following that verbiage, right? Yeah. How they write that. Uh -huh. And you don't catch it, and then yeah, it later on down, it's a cost to the tribe. Exactly, like the small wording or whatever. And so, yeah. yeah. My sister, my sister is a very very nice lady, but if if there's something wrong going on, I'm a marine. I have no issues speaking up and stepping in. That's that's kind of my forte. So, uh, I mean, she's the expert in engineering stuff. If we have other engineers or uh, you know other agencies who are giving us a hard time, I have no issues. As long as I come come with them with knowledge and, and that sort of thing. No funny story. Let's get off subject here. My dad was 60, 60 years old. I used to visit him before he passed, 62, whatever. I was like, Dad, I'm like, I was third, late 30s. I said, I still fear you. I looked at him. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm old. That's that's what was instilled in me. For you. Well, your dad's a retired Marine. You know, I mean, you just didn't mess with them. You didn't, you know, you didn't down talk them. And that's. And he laughed at me. Like, what do you know, Mike and Diddy? I'm an old man. Hey, that's I still fear you, man. And so I always did thank him for his service for that. And I had a lot of respect for him. And I probably disappointed him because I didn't go in the military, but he he, uh, he understood. So, uh, like I said, uh, it's something I thought I'd share with you. <laughs> so you're related to Bad Moxness? Yeah. And then a uh, nephew, his name's Quincy Bad Moxness. And uh, Elizabeth is his grandma. Yeah. Emma. Yeah. Yes. This is yep. Dad, yep. passed away yep. in the early 70s in the house, youth class. Yeah. It was just a baby. Stuff, so. Yeah, you're with that's that. That's grandma, grandma, grandpa's brothers. Well, Emily, family. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. You guys got a pretty attractive resume. You were a, you were a lieutenant colonel in, a, in the service? Yes. Thank, thank you for your service, Matt. Oh. <laughs> Tony's a veteran as well. Yeah, oh yeah. There you go. I'm also a veteran of East Pier. East Pier. That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're from West Pier. Right to the right, right same area of uh, your grandpa, Sydney. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's a jolly good time with Cliff and Holden. Oh yeah, those guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our grandma our elders are asked. Yeah. We've only got a couple now, Paul and Brenda and Bruce. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, sad. But, um, our grandma, Elma, I want Dalmoxon, she's from here too. Yeah, she's, she's a long fish. She's a long fish. And then we, uh, our grandpa, is from Crow Creek, but his mom is from Standing Rock. She's the Eagle Shield. A little everything now. Yeah. Yeah. Covered all, yeah. all the directions. <laughs> 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 but uh, we're, we've, we've gone out, done a lot of work out in the, you know, me and the Marine Corps, her, her and the, doing some work down in Arizona, but do we want to come back. We're, we're um, requesting a home site and of our Big Bend, so it would just be easier for us to bring a boat over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody help us with that? We need a ferry. West so we're to North Bend. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll be right over there, Big Bend. Yeah, Big yeah. Bend's right over there. Oh, this way. Right, <laughs> See, right that way. Yeah. <laughs> From where we want to uh, put our house, but yeah. So we're trying to get a home site over there, and um, hopefully. Get that. Take care. Any questions, Mark? Or oh, nice to meet you. Thank yep. you again for the snacks. Oh yes, yes. And um, well, we'll be leaving, leaving here, but I mean, you guys could take a plate. Take one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your generosity. Don't be shy, James, back there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah hey guys, trying to act like they don't eat much. <laughs> <laughs> When they're in your government, they like to eat behind the scenes. They can't eat in front of you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lake. Yep. Uh, like I said, Thank I. Uh, you very much. All right. If, uh, Shanna, you want to give them uh, Dr. Mala's uh, uh, information and Mary Jane's? Uh, Thank you, ladies.
like I said, I, I really hope things work out. And I hope there is something that we can do if we get the funding. And, and uh, you have to have your conversation with those individuals if, it, if it's something that you guys can help us with. Yeah. yeah. At least uh, our rights on, on this yeah. project. Yeah. And with uh, any, like, IHS, there's different, like, they call Title V, where the tribe just gets the money. But I don't know, that takes, like, some, uh, I don't know, rules or whatever that you have to um, meet your meet certain things. So um, I, I would be looking into that um, for both communities to see. So then you don't have to, you know, once you get the money, you just kind of have to give them, like, updates build what you need and um, it's really out of their hands then so thank you we have a fee a fee worksheet we can send to send to you we have a fee worksheet that we worked on like how much we would it would cost that would be charged to help i mean we could email that to you i don't yeah, and, and like so, she gives you that contact oh, mail, and you meet okay. with uh, Mary Jane and, and Dr. Monalu, and probably Chris. I think he's involved on that. Okay. And going to Hill City to go see that wastewater plant up there, so yeah. then you guys can work on that because they would send the request down to here for the council. So. Okay. I'll probably take her down. Is the are the Lundu still there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at it. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Real quick, Mr. Yes. Are you doing a genre? Huh? You doing an enrollment? Yeah. Okay. That's not that much. I didn't make it to the meeting, but I got to have to take one and pass it. No, take one. Okay. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one. <laughs> I, I didn't, I wasn't able to make it to the meeting because I had another appointment. Um, she kind of filled me in on some of these on reservation. I think there's four of them that are in social service hands. That's why um, the remaining board wanted them passed so they have these children have a fighting chance. Four to the seven. I think I. I know, I think number three is, uh, I think number six is, number one is, and it may be number two. I'm sorry, I, like I said, I, I didn't make it to the meeting, but there are four out of the seven are in the hands of social services. And we want to try to give those individuals a fighting chance. So do they live on the resident? If they're in the hands of social services, most likely not. So with that, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve the honor reservation. Okay, you got a motion by John. What? Oh, this is just one. Oh. Like, yeah, I got one. I got one. Yeah. Got one. Thank you. I do. Well, I got. It. Yeah, because they live, they live on the bread, off the bread. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> That's correct, John. Pardon? If you're eight and you live off the res, you cannot be enrolled. But we, we, what, what the committee has been doing, if they are in the hands of social services, we want to give them a fighting chance. Otherwise, they don't really have that. And that's why they've been doing it that way. Because we, and when they're in social services, it's like, you know, nobody cares and they don't have a tribe. Well, this way we're showing them we do care. They do have a tribe. I don't know if it makes any sense to you, but that's the way they've been uh, treating the ones with social services. So they don't become just a person out there in the world and don't have any. So we need to show ties back here, bottom of the line. And it's not those children's fault. They're just babies, you know. You can't hold that against them. So I made the motion. 
You made a motion? Yes. yes. I'll yes. second. I'll second by Cody. Any discussion? Mr. Donovan? No. John? No. Stephanie? No. Marvin? No. Cody? No. Call for the vote. Donovan? Four. Four. Stephanie? Four. Marvin? Four. Cody? Four. Motion carries 540 against the not voting. Oh, yeah, now for the relinquishment. Relinquishment. Oh, okay. On the back page, entertain a motion for that for Mrs. Second. Motion by John, second by Cody. Any discussion on it? No. John. No. Stephanie. Mark. Discussion. <laughs> See, he's got food on his mind. Four. <laughs> Cody. Discussion. Call for the vote, Donovan. Four. Four. John. Stephanie. Four. Marvin, vote. Definitely. Four. Okay. Five, Four. five, four, zero against. None not voting. He wants more cookies. <laughs> Go, Johnny. Mr. Uh, Mr. He said, did you pay attention to that last vote, he said. Oh, yeah, we did. Donna, can you grab that for me? Yeah. Um, How'd you Thank vote? you. Mr. Uh, well, we're discussing what we did. Real quick, real quick, uh, the, the Constitutional Committee, uh, that's for informational uh, right now. Uh, just to let you know that because it was on our agenda for the meetings. And if you want more info, please contact uh, Cheryl or Stephanie. I think Cody went to the last meeting too, maybe. Um, but go ahead, James. All right. Uh, number one, uh, I have already passed a resolution on the uh, Ronnie Macaulay home site. Uh, we request a modification to the original resolution, 1-190. Uh, uh, I don't know their present status now. He, um, uh, Tori is T-O-R-Y. Right, right now, um, yeah, you can do the modification to it just by adding his name and we'll discuss the next one if you don't want mine. Do one at a time. Does that make sense? Sure. So we do. Because you just you want his, his name is getting added, correct? Correct. That's the only modification, so there's no big deal. So we don't need to act on the, the IHS water sewer application. No, yeah, because uh, the numbers weren't looking looking right, and they were going to tie into something that I don't want to put them on a list if they don't have the house. You know what I mean? Yeah, they won't. Yeah. Somebody yeah. else needs to be there that's got a house. Yeah, they, they won't put a septic in until the house is on site. Yeah. So. Well, we can do the modification by adding Tory, T O R Y. Okay. That's step one. Wow, right? When they're ready, they'll submit another application, IHS? Well, if, well not, um, not necessarily, because if, they already got the home site. Just gonna put some kind of structure on it. But if they get a house a year or two down, then they're gonna have to request to be put on the IHS sewer and water. Correct? Yep. So all, the only thing that's needed now is to add Tory to it, right? Right. Since they're married. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Number two, uh, Lindsay LaRoche Sr. requested to renew his residential lease. For another 25 years. Okay. Entertain a motion for that. Which one are we on now? Oh, we still got to do number one yet? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. On, that one? On, uh, on A or B? B, right? Yeah. B. Just a modification? Yeah. Yeah. Second. That's a motion by Stephanie, second by Cody. Any discussion out of it? No. John? No. Stephanie? No. Marvin? No. Cody? Call for the vote, Donovan. Four. John. Four. Steph. Four. Mark. Four. Four. Cody. Four. Motion carries five four zero against and not voted. Was there two two resolutions on this? On that first one? No, just the one because the, they're holding oh, on they to the house. But the, 
Should they go oh, forward so when the number's being right, then they'll come back and ask to be put on so it. So it's just that one. That should be the proper so practice. Just the one modification with an aim added, that's it. Okay? So one A, one B we approved. One B. Correct. One A needs to be approved and well, we, we, one B is. We just added his name to the home site and that's it. That's what I said, but it both kind of has the same verbiage in both ones, right? Yeah, but we didn't add water. So I mean, that's why I said, which resolution <laughs> did we just do? Was it for 1A or 1B? Because there's two different, is there two different resolutions on there? One was just to approve the IHS, but they're not doing that right now. And the other one is to add her as white on there. Yeah, so we did 1B. That's why I just want for clarification for the record. We did the first part of one, our... <laughs> The one B. Because of the, the IHS and both of them is screwed up. <laughs> Bottom of the line, damn it. Dang it. Sean? No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, you want a resolution for A? <laughs> no, the resolution should just state he's being added to the home site least as a modification. That's it. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. We used to add his name on there. Yeah, that's it. But what then? Putting the IHS on both of them made it look he was quoting Don, what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's eating over there, he's popping off Don. Look at that. Yeah. You're, you're, you're Sugar hired pal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two. You got that before you entertain a motion for the number two request on your BIA packet. Lindsay the Rush Senior Home, home Site Request Lease Renewal. Is that there over, that over there by Jim Browse's? Yes, sir. Is Kelly Furman on that one, too? No, that would be a separate one. They're two separate. Are they side by side? I'll soon move on that. <laughs> yeah. <Four. laughs> Motion by John. Motion by John. I'll second. Second by Marvin. Any discussion on it? John? No. Stephen? No. Marvin? No. Cody? No. Call for the vote, Donovan? Four. John? Four. Steph. Four. Marvin. Four. Go four. Motion carries five four zero against and then not voting. Uh, just to clarify, no, that would be a separate uh, lease. Number three, are they, you have are they side by side. Though? No, there's a fenced off area. We just got this home site request in uh, a few hours ago from uh, Glen Eagle Thunder uh, home site request on grandmother's old place. Okay. Enough. But Shirley brought this in, so. Be on Fern's old lot? Yeah, Fern, uh, too. Now, I got a question on that one now. I, now, where Fern lived, I thought she left that land to Monica. Apparently, uh, Shirley and uh, the tribe have interest in that. Monica in, in the mix? Uh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure so because I, I thought for sure that that um, home site was Monica's because she was in it when it burned down. Yeah. So maybe we can uh, confirm that. So and don't, don't get me wrong, I, I don't have a problem doing this, but I got to speak, I got to tell you what I do know. Mm -hmm. Because Monica was in the house and I was told that. They gave the, the house and home site to her. Now, if this is the same one, you understand where I'm going with it? Yeah. Because I know people were would ask her. To, uh, there's a little bit of grass around her. They'd hate it and they'd pay her. And I don't want to get, I'm not trying to cause a family squabble, but I'm just going to tell you what I do. <coughs> I think she said she belonged to that. Belongs to her, Monica. Monica, because she—that's what I recall. She asked to uh, ask for me to release them. Hey, you and Tams. So let's table that, then move on to number four. Keep uh, going. Look something up quick before. I mean, you can text me back. Let me know. We're, we're, back. we're looking at that home ownership for that um, home site that came in late, or the demand ownership. That one that just came in, did I help you, did I help you with the video script in them? Uh, yeah, Eagle Feather, yeah. James, you want to talk about number four? Number four, uh, 
I think there's a there was a memorandum came down from the region signed by the regional director on this, and it was distributed to all counselor. Uh, that was in May. But uh, the BI is requesting a travel resolution to how the funds want to be used, and you don't have to do this now. How much time do you have to spend? Oh, it was, it was due yesterday, but I thought there was an extension they kicked on this one, wasn't it? Well, there's no due date on this. It's kind of like... Well, remember that one that came down for that June 2nd deadline? Wasn't it this one? But that... Uh, Is that the Treasury? Remember, I was on that call the other day, and they said that uh cannot be segregated and needed a... I have it wrote down on my other. Hold on, maybe it's actually should know it's on a different paper. Well, there, there's a frequently asked questions that were just updated on the, on those funds, so I um, I'll send it out. I was getting it ready when I got called down here. Yeah, I, even with the I don't think it was just the ET funds. It was you might want to all ARP funds. I want to plan a, a resolution to it. Yeah, I advise. If you're going to the BIA, then does, does this money go to the BIA and then the BIA dispenses it or distributes right. it to the tribe? Right. Pass all, all at once, sir. Well, they're going to put them into a 638 contract, the ARP funds. Is that what Sonia does? Or yes. Does it draw down? Yeah. It's kind of, is it, is it basically the, like the same stuff to aid the tribal government?